Hey guys, it's Heather. Uh, sorry it's been so long since my last video. I know I say that every time, but it's been really, really busy. Um, I just wanted to give y'all an update on what's been going on since my last video. Um, I know that I had told a couple, or not a couple, I guess I had said that I had, I was going to try to do a day in the life of a nursing student video, and I've been trying to figure out how to do it, but it's been kind of a challenge because um, if I take my camera to school, I there's really no way for me to film things that are going on without getting my classmates and stuff, you know, on film and also um, recording my teachers. And I don't want to record other classmates because I don't think that they, um, you know, would necessarily want to be on my YouTube channel. And also our instructors are really um, weird kind of about videotaping and stuff like that in general. Um, a couple people like try to videotape in lab a lot of times and the teachers always are really like not so cool with this. So yeah, I might just have to do like a mock type thing or I might just, um, just kind of explain what goes on. Um, if I figure out another way that I can do it, maybe more incognito, I'll, tr I'll try really hard to do that. But, um, another thing somebody had asked me to do was a video about, um, clinicals and what you are kind of expected of to wear and everything like that. So um, basically it just really depends on your school and maybe also the facility that you're at. It also in my school really depends on the instructor. If you have a more strict instructor then you can't get away with certain things as easily. But um, at my school you obviously have to wear your uniform which is our uh, teal colored scrub top um, and pants with our completely white shoes. Um, you can also wear a lab coat if you wish. You don't have to. Um, I don't ever wear mine because I'm, it's white and I'm always afraid I'm going to get it dirty or get something horrible on it and never be able to get the stain or smell or something out. But, um, I do have a little, uh, jacket that's the same color as my scrubs that I wear pretty much every day because I'm always kind of on the cold side and everything. But, um, also you have to always wear your hair back, um, you know, on a ponytail and, uh, if my hair was longer, I would probably also need to wear it in a bun. Um, if you have really long hair, you're supposed to wear it in a bun. Um, but yeah, I don't know why anybody would want to wear their hair down for clinicals because you get hot and be in your face and everything. I don't know, but you're supposed to wear your hair up at all times. Um, a real big thing is jewelry. You're not supposed to wear necklaces. Um, you can only wear stud earrings. These are little, like, flower earrings. I know you probably can't see them, but, um... I don't really know if these would be suitable or not. I don't really wear earrings to clinicals because I just, it's so early in the morning. I don't get up and think, which earrings should I wear, you know? Um, I probably wouldn't get in trouble for these, but I probably just wouldn't wear them in general. Um, we're not supposed to wear our necklaces, but I do anyways because um, my clinical instructor doesn't really care. I've gotten in trouble, not really in trouble, but gotten, somebody said something to me about about twice from another clinical instructor, and I've taken it off every time they ask. It's just, I wear this every single day. I don't even take it off to shower, so I don't remember to take it off for clinicals. And I usually have my, like, my jacket on, so it's covered up anyways, so you can't really see it, but um, I lose things really easy, and if I take this off, I'm just so scared I'm going to lose it, and it's really sentimental. It means a lot to me, so... Yeah, I just don't really take it off, which I know is kind of bad, but, um, yeah. Uh, also, as a, a for jewelry, you're not really supposed to wear, um, a lot of rings on your finger. You're only supposed to wear, like, a plain, um, band on your ring finger if you're married. I wear my engagement ring as well, and then I also wear this other ring that my husband gave me on the, my right hand. I've never had anybody say anything to me about it. I don't think that they really care if you wear your wedding ring just because that's kind of messed up to sell, to sell somebody that they can't wear something that's, you know, really meaningful to them. And then this ring... I don't know, people, just, I've just never had any issues with it. Um, I probably should not wear my rings just for, you know, infection control and stuff, but I usually, like, you know, wipe them down with, like, hand sanitizer and also I, you know, wash my hands and stuff like that and take them off when I wash my hands and everything. Um, so, yeah, I think that they're okay, but um, that's just something to keep in mind if you're a really big germaphobe or something like that. Um, I have worn earrings to clinicals before now that I think about it, and I went into a patient's room who had... C. diff and the nurse told me to wipe down my earrings when I left and my necklace so of course I did um so yeah that's just something to keep in mind we also aren't supposed to have our nails painted um, my nails aren't painted right now I paint mine every once in a while um which that really sucks like you could have like a clear color or like a really light pink but you can't have anything like you know real bright or dark because I don't really know why they don't want your nail polish to be all chipped and stuff like that so if I do, I usually paint mine, like, the day that I get out of clinicals, 
that last day and then I can have it for almost a week before clinical starts back and I take it off. But um, I'm pretty sure if I wore it, my clinical instructor wouldn't say anything as long as I kept it, you know, up and, you know, not chipped or anything like that. But you know, it's just something else. Um, another thing they tell us, which I don't think is an issue, is makeup. Um, the makeup that I have on right now uh, would be fine for clinicals. I probably would never wear this much makeup to clinicals because I don't have time to do my makeup before clinicals. I just do what I can feel comfortable with throughout the day and hopefully not to, you know, look too horrible um, throughout my eight hour shift. But um, yeah, you can't have, you know, gobs of makeup on, not a lot of lip gloss and eyeshadow and, you know, crazy stuff like that, which I don't think is really an issue with hardly anybody in my program, but that is something that they told us. Um, that's about all I can think of. You have to have your supplies, obviously. I bring my stethoscope every single day. I bring a, bl a blood pressure cuff as well, even though I never end up using it, but I always have it just in case. You always have to have your watch. Always have to have a pen light. Always have to have a pair of scissors. Um, one of my classmates has a pulse ox that she brings. That's her own, because a lot of times the blood pressure machines don't have a working pulse ox, or they don't have one at all. Um, so that's something I'm going to be looking into getting uh, here soon. But yeah, um, that's about all for clinicals. It, like I said, it just really depends on your facility and your school and what is required and what is not. Ours is pretty laid back. Um, I don't have any problems with it. Scrubs are pretty easy to get into in the morning. So yeah. Um, other than that, I have my first final of the semester tomorrow. I can't believe it. Our skills class is only a 12-week class. So we um, are going to start, or to actually start, we're going to end our semester of that class tomorrow and I'm really excited. Um, it's been a good class. It's been, you know, not too hard. It was the one test that I really flubbed up on and one check off that I really flubbed up on, but you live and you learn and that kind of thing just happens, especially in nursing school. But yeah, we have our um, final tomorrow. It's 100 questions from 9 a.m. to 11. Um, I'm really looking forward to getting it over with so we don't have classes on Mondays anymore. That means I only have to go to school on Tuesdays and I have clinicals on Wednesdays and Thursdays. So I will have a very long weekend. I'll have a four day weekend, which will be awesome, especially for my other class, my nursing and health and illness two class. We're getting ready to have a very hard test in there. And so I'm going to need that extra day to study for sure. Um, it's just kind of hard studying for the final because it's a, you know, you just have all your stuff out and you're just like, ah, oh, like, you know, what exactly do I need to really focus on? But I think I said this in one of my videos from last semester, but it's really amazing how much you do learn and retain over the semester. I had never taken a cumulative final before um, last semester, so I didn't know what to expect. And, you know, ARC finals are cumulative and they have new material, but you just, you really do learn a lot more and retain a lot more than you think that you do. So um, I went out with some of my classmates earlier today um, and we studied for several hours and, you know, reviewed and stuff like that. I'm going to finish reviewing a little bit more tonight and I'll probably get up a little earlier in the morning before class and before the test and brush up one more time but um yeah I haven't had anything too terribly exciting with school going on just um been going to clinicals that's a really big focus nothing honestly has been exciting happening in that I haven't gotten to do any really cool skills it's really hard to find a lot of things to do in the rehab um facility but um it, it has been a good learning experience I've had some very interesting um patients and everything like that, but, um, yeah, I'm trying to think of what else has been going on, um, yeah, that's about it, I've been trying to finish up my volunteer hours, I think I've mentioned this before, we have to do 16 volunteer hours per semester, and, um, I'm just finishing up mine, I've been volunteering with a hospice facility, which has been a very interesting experience, and I have eight more hours to do by May 6th, so I've really got to get my self into gear here um, to get that finished but hopefully I'll be able to do it oh I know I'll be able to do it no problem um, but yeah that's about it that's been going on um, I'll try to update y'all again really really soon a lot sooner than last time again I'm sorry about that delay um, and I like I said I'll try really hard to do a day in the life of nursing student type thing I can just either make a video talking about it or I can I don't really know if I could do like a simulation thing I mean I would be the exact same thing as me talking about it but I can just kind of tell you about you know how I start the day what happens during school maybe what I do when I get home like for studying and stuff like that even though like I, I've said before I basically just read and go over my notes and stuff but um and I could even talk about like clinicals, like what a typical day is like at clinicals now that we have two patients and 
stuff like that. But um, if y'all have any questions for me, guys, let me know. I hope y'all semesters are going good. They're starting to wind down, hopefully at least a little bit. I know finals are, you know, still, still to come, but, you know, the nitty gritty, really hard part. And my camera died. But anyways, hopefully the nitty gritty parts that are really hard are just about over. Um, and if not, just keep hanging in there and you can do this. Um, I still have to go throughout the summer, so I'm trying not to feel too anxious for the semester to end because we get a very small break, but it will still be a nice break anyways. But y'all guys have a great weekend, guys. If y'all have any questions for me, please let me know. And see you later. Good luck. Bye.